Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here, and here we go. We finally have the video. Now, before I start off, I just want to thank you guys for your patience. I know it took literally a week longer than I said it would, but with the World Cup coming around the corner, um, unfortunately, I had to prioritize working on that. Now, I'm super excited to be releasing this video. Yes, there's going to be face cam, just isn't right now, just because this is literally like two minutes before I recorded the video. I just want to tell you guys, you know, how appreciative I am of you guys. A ton of you guys also aren't subscribed, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel as there's just way more perks if you are. My friend link is always dropped to people who are subscribed, just randomly sent to them, uh, randomly put on community posts, and you don't see them if you're not subscribed. So it's literally people that watch my video every single day. So make sure you create account, you create an account if you don't, or you just subscribe in general. Um, with that being said, myself and OG are also really proud to announce that we're going to be having a joint channel. So what this channel is going to be is, for now, it's just going to be streaming because unfortunately we can't stream on our own channels due to the algorithm getting messed up and our videos don't get recommended. It doesn't reach a larger audience, so we can't be streaming on our own channels regularly. And a ton of you guys want to see that, so we're going to be making a separate channel to stream on. And then in a couple or so months, we're actually going to be getting a Space Station Gaming Team House and we're just going to be making a bunch of a bunch of just awesome videos with our teammates with each other just doing just some really really cool stuff so anyways make sure you guys check that out link is going to be in the description i hope literally all of you guys subscribe to that because it's just going to be a really fun really cool channel so anyways i hope you guys enjoy um like this has just been a long time in the making i'm super happy that we're finally getting a brawl ball guide out there if you guys like it hit the like button and i'm definitely going to be making guides on other modes and potentially even all 28 or 29 however many brawlers there are in the game so with that being said there's going to be timestamps on the screen for each different part if you guys want to skip ahead but yeah i hope you guys enjoy let's hop into it and you know thank you guys for being so patient yo what is going on guys bobby here and today we got an epic game godly perfect dope just amazing video for you guys so today what we're going to be doing is going over an advanced brawl ball guide for all trophy ranges so this is just going to be for everyone it's my first really in-depth guide of a mode so i'm super excited to make this video it was definitely a ton more work than my other ones i spent a lot of time in preparation making sure everything i did was correct making sure i recorded everything correctly making sure just everything was up to the standard where you guys can learn from it the reason I'm making this video is because someone in my comment section said, look, Brawl Ball is a 24-7 mode. All the tops love Brawl Ball because they can grind it so efficiently, basically with every brawler. And the reason being is because we make the correct plays. We know what to do and we're very situ situationally aware. And you guys want to become that. So you guys can grind 3v3 because Brawl Ball is a lot of your favorite modes. And you guys just want the ability to push cups as fast as possible. And with Brawl Ball being a 24-7 mode, there is no other better way then with Brawl Ball. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be breaking down Brawl Ball into five different steps. Offense, defense, comps, positioning slash general tips, and cool plays that you can do with your teammates that are pretty advanced. So what we're going to be doing first is talking about comps. So let me take a sip of water. Let's cut there. And let me show you guys exactly what you guys want to do for comps. Okay, so when we talk about comps, I'm not going to be telling you guys exactly what brawler to use on exactly what map, on exactly what trophy range, because that would just take forever. That would be an hour long by itself. So what I'm going to be doing is breaking down brawlers into categories. There's going to be support slash mid range. There's going to be range. There's going to be tanks and there's going to be... Well, that's really it. Those are the three tank slash close range. So I'm gonna be putting the I'm gonna be putting like little brawler animations on the screen. And when I mean I, I mean Toma will. So thank you to Toma for doing this. I'm gonna be putting the brawlers on the screen and putting them kind of in categories. And I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly what to do at what trophy range. So if you're at about zero to 300 or 400, I don't know exactly what I want to justify as low cups. You want to be using two tanks and a medium slash support. The reason for this is people don't really know what they're doing at this trophy level. If you're there and you're watching this video, that means you want to know how to do something. You want to be able to push and that's going to take you to the next step alone. Just the fact that you want to and you're already here. Usually player is at that level or just casual players. They don't really watch a lot of YouTube videos. They don't really watch a lot on how to learn. They kind of just play like maybe when they're on the toilet or something. So anyways, 
what you guys want to be using is those two tanks and a medium because they don't know the correct place just get into their face auto aim do as much damage as possible and just go and walk that ball in the net they won't know how to defend it they don't know what comps to use what brawlers to use and i believe that after watching this video if you guys just use that and use the general iq that you guys are going to learn from this you guys will know exactly what to do and you guys can just run through them with those comps so when we talk about medium cups i'm talking about about 400 to 600 maybe 650 but that's getting a little bit high what you guys want to use here is one range one medium and one tank and the reason for this is because people start getting a little bit better and when you get a little bit better it's hard to just run at teams click the auto aim button and do as much damage as possible they're starting to get stronger they're starting to hit more shots they're starting to be higher leveled brawlers so you can't just walk up to them and do whatever you want which is where your skill comes in at least use one range so that from afar you're able to kill them where they're not able to touch you you can still use one support medium and one tank this is a really good combination at this uh trophy range you guys should be able to win majority of your games if you're playing it correctly and then at the higher cup range what i would recommend is two range and then one medium slash support. I would not recommend a goal scorer unless it's a really grassy map, such as Sneaky Fields or something like that. The reason being is just because there's just too many good people at 600 plus. You're gonna be facing good team after good team, which has a very, which have very good comms, usually max brawlers and are high skilled. So you can't use tanks, walk up to them. They're just going to laser you and get you down. So you have to be using those range. You have to be able to get kills. You have to be able to outskill your opponent at this range so something you should be incorporating into every single one of your comps is a stun brawler so a brawler such as shelly primo frank bull the list goes on and on i can go into the brawler section right now actually and look dynamite super does the trick um a daryl roll does the trick piper bombs do the trick bb knockback does the trick tara super does the trick gene pull but something where if somebody has the ball and is walking it in for example you're able to take the ball off of them so if you shally super somebody with the ball they lose the ball you need something like that in your team composition because that is basically going to be your defense that's going to be your lifeline if you're about to give up a goal and they're walking towards your net you can just hit them with the very edge of your shelly super and they're not going to be able to score that goal or you can jump on them with a primo and they're going to be able and they're just going to lose the ball so you have to make sure you incorporate some type of stun in your comp so that you're able to you know basically just stop goals so the next thing that you guys want to use obviously is a goal scorer and when i talk about goal scorer it doesn't need to be a mortis or a primo it could be stuff i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of different ways that you can score in step two of this video but what i mean is obviously a mortis is great if you know how to dribble correctly obviously a primo is good if you use a jump correctly but you can use a frank you can use a rosa you can use a daryl you can use a BB, you can use a Tara, you can use a Shelly. There's a lot of different things that you can use as a goal scorer. Shelly is someone I really, really like in Bravo because she can act as a defense, a mid, a stun, and a goal scorer. So I try and incorporate her in as many comps as possible when I play Bravo. Um, she's definitely super, super good on ladder, so I'd recommend using her. And the last thing when we talk about comps is going to be spawnables. Brawl Ball usually is very close quarters. So if we go to a create room and we just look at the maps, let's look at, for example, Pinhole Punt. Everything's kind of condensed in the middle. Let's go to Super Stadium. Everything's kind of condensed in the middle. Uh, sneaky Fields, again, everything is really close. And Spawnables are really, really good because A, they let you know exactly what's around them and B, there's something else that the other team has to worry about. So if you can get a Nita Bear on the ground, just disturbing them, having to make them waste shots on your Nita Bear, that is super, super, super good. You definitely want that. Having a Jesse turret is amazing. Having the 8-bit uh, spawnable is amazing. The penny turret is amazing. Anything that could help you guys out and it's just another piece of equipment or you know spawnable on the field that you can get is something that is just amazing something that you guys definitely want to incorporate in your comps so something like anita a shelly and something is usually a really good comp if you can throw anita shelly and then at a higher cup maybe piper in your comp that's a really good comp if you can go anita shelly and primo at lower cups that's a really really good comp that i would highly recommend using so definitely try and incorporate those two brawlers into your comps but with that being said that's going to end the part one which is going to be how to pick a comp we're going to be going to part two which is showing you 
Guys, all the different ways that you guys can score goals with Brawler. So I don't mean trick shots or anything like that. I might include trick shots in part four if I feel they're necessary for this video. But I just mean if you're a Shelly, um, there are special ways that you can score with a Shelly that you can't score with other Brawlers. If you're a Rosa, there are ways you can score with a Rosa as you can't score with other Brawlers. We're going to hop into those games. We're going to show you guys exactly how to do it with each Brawler that has an ability to do so. So let's hop into part two and let's show you guys what to do. Now, before we get into part two, I just want to clarify exactly how this works. So what I did is I made a Twitter post, shout out to my Twitter, and I basically just dropped the room link and let five of you guys join my room. So what I did basically was I used my, I charged my super off of you guys in friendly rooms and I was able to get my super, which gave me the ability to start going try hard and being able to do the special abilities with the brawlers. So what happened is they charged my super, I'd basically spin and then we would go into full game form. So they would try and stop me while I try and do the move. These guys are all good players. Now they're not pros or anything, but they're definitely players that can stop a goal on a normal basis. It did take me a couple of tries for most brawlers since they're going full out their hardest in most situations were a 1v3 or a 1v2 or something along those lines. So even though it is a friendly room, they are trying their hardest after they give me super and they get into a defensive situation. It's just to reenact as real of a scenario as it can be for when I score broke goals with the brawler. So with that being said, let's hop in and let's show you guys exactly what to do with each brawler. So you guys can see they killed me. I'm going to walk up. Tylo is right beside me. He's going to let me feed basically feed my super he's going to give me my super real quick and now they're going to go into a defensive position so what you're going to be wanting to do with shelly is basically you're going to want to walk up and you're going to want to shoot it to an open section super the wall to break the wall so you're going to shoot it at a post where the walls are you're going to super those walls and they are going to go away they're not going to see it coming and that is going to be a super easy goal for you guys so that is number one what you guys want to be doing with shelly now shelly is a very crucial brawler in every single part of this video so i would definitely keep Keep my eyes open for Shelly as it's someone you can definitely push in Brawl Ball a ton. So that's going to be the Shelly portion for goal scoring. Let's move on to the next one. So now moving on to Colt, you guys can see I have the ball where all you're going to do is walk forward. Same thing as Shelly, shoot it at the wall, use your super to break the walls. They're not going to see it coming and you put it in the net. Now this is actually the second game I did because they stopped it two previous times. This one is definitely a far more advanced goal than a lot of the other ones you're going to see. Just shoot the ball forward, use your super really quickly to break those walls. Exact same idea as the Shelly, really sneaky. Nobody is going to see it coming unless you're at the very, very, very top of ladder. And even then only like 20%. 30% of the people are going to see it coming. So remember how to do those two. Those two are very good. Let's hop into the next brawler. So hopping into the Daryl game here. Now Daryl is a really simple brawler. Uh, when it comes to goal scoring, definitely one of the best at doing so. You guys are going to see they're going to give me my super, give me the ball, and then they're going to go into a defensive stance over here. So all you're going to want to do for this one, this one's simple. Don't really need to show you guys with this against defense. Throw the ball forward, super onto the ball, and be able to get that save. Um, this one is a little bit more challenging over here. So what you guys, they're going to give me my super real quick. What you guys are going to want to do is there is usually going to be contest. You can't just throw the ball forward and roll. So you guys can see I threw it off a wall. Steve's going to pick it up, but I stunned Steve. So I'm going to be able to get the ball by killing him and just pick up the ball and put it in the net. That one's a little bit more challenging, but that's the one I want you guys to practice the most because very rarely will there just be an open path where you can shoot the ball forward, roll onto it, and that is it. So definitely practice throwing the ball forward to where somebody is, rolling on them, stunning them. Sometimes you'll get the ball, and if you get the ball, make sure you do not spam auto-aim, which is part of tips in part either three or four. I forgot, I think it's part four. But just make sure either you have the ball or they do. If they do, shoot them, kill them, pick up the ball and score. They will have no clue what's going on. Or if you have the ball, do not spam auto aim. Just walk that ball in the net as you will have your shield if you have star power. And if you don't, you're going to have 6k HP. Let's move on to the next brawler. That was Daryl. So this is going to be a very simple one. It's everyone's favorite brawler in Brawl. What you guys have, the boy El Primo. So they're just going to let me charge my super real quick on them. You guys can see we're kind of just fooling around until I get my super. Scoopy with the double jumps, or Scrappy, not Scoopy. Uh, so I'm going to get my super. They're going to give me the ball, and they're going to go in defense mode. So all you want to do is walk up. You can shoot it at a post, get that jump, land on boxes. I highly, highly, highly recommend you throw it at a wall because I don't think you can score, and then you jump right on that wall, break the wall. Exact same theory as with the Shelly and the Colt, except this one's a little bit different as there's much more possibilities. You can throw it to an open area, you can throw it to a box, you can throw it to a post. Just as long as nobody's in your way and as long as nobody catches it, that's exactly what you're going to want to do. 
So that's going to be Primo. Primo obviously is a fan favorite. I've watched that one a couple times just so you guys know exactly what to do because obviously all of you guys have this brawler. So let's hop into the next brawler. Keep your eyes on Primo though. We're going to be talking about him again later in the video. Let's hop into the next one. So now moving on to Frank, this one is very, very, very efficient if you guys can learn how to do this properly. A little bit advanced, but it's not that hard at all. So you guys can see I get my super. Basically all you have to do is walk up, throw the ball off something, get it back, but before you get it back, pull your super and just stun whoever's ahead of you and break all the boxes. Super easy, highly effective. There is no way anybody can stop that unless they have a stun brawler, which we spoke about earlier in part one. A stun brawler would 100% stop that. But if there is no stun brawler or if that brawler doesn't have its super or its ability to stun, that is a 100% effective way, basically guaranteeing you a goal of putting the ball in the net. I mean, there is just no better way than scoring than that, in my opinion. There's no way of stopping it. If someone doesn't have a stun, use that, perfect it, and it's a very easy, even 1,000 trophies on your Frank. So definitely perfect that. Let's hop into the next brawler, which is going to be our girl, Rosa. So here we go into the next one. What we're going to be doing here is using Rosa. So this is going to be pretty simple. I'm basically just going to get my super off these guys again. Um, you guys already know what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to let Scrappy get back a little bit. So it's a three on one just to show you guys how strong this is. Remember, these guys don't have a stun brawler. Nobody that can take me off the ball. So what you're going to want to do is throw the ball off the wall, pick up your super or use your super and nobody can stop you. You have an unreal amount of HP. There is no way anybody is killing you. The only way to stop that is by having a stun. So if you were to Shelly super that, Rosa would lose the ball. If you were to Frank super that, Rosa would be stunned and lose the ball. Remember, always use a stun. That's the only thing that can stop that. Again, everybody at the top uses at least one stun brawler in every single comp. Make sure you guys are using it for that defensive strat. Let's hop into the next brawler. So for this one, what we're going to be doing is showing you guys BB. This is going to be super easy. You guys see, I'm just going to put the ball over there. There's a lot of situations where the ball is just going to be in the open. You walk up, you use your stun, and they lose the ball, and then super easy, just walk that in. That's all you have to do. There are many different plays where all you need to do is get a stun. Then the ball is going to be out in the open. I've seen it at pros use it. I've seen Ash, um, Ash YouTube use it a ton. He's very, very good at it. So if you see him using BB and Brawl Ball, definitely check out a video such as that because he does it very well if you guys want to learn more in depth about that. But that's a really, really good one that you guys can use with BB. Just stun them, make them lose the ball, pick that up, and walk it in the net. Now another tip with BB, if you have star power, if you have the shield, I don't know the exact number, but it's 10,400 something HP. So if they don't have a stun, do not be afraid to pick up the ball and just walk it forward in the net. A lot of people underestimate the shield and don't think it's that strong, so they don't prioritize it. So there's usually only one or two people or one or two brawlers that are going to be shooting at you. And just pick up the ball and walk it in the net if you guys don't think that they can do 10,400 damage by the time that you can pick up the ball and walk it in the net. I mean, it's super underrated. A lot of people don't see it coming. Definitely try that out. Let's hop into the next brawler. So for the next brawler, we're going to be using Tara. Tara is really simple. All you're going to want to do basically is walk up, same idea as Frank, throw your super down and basically stun them, put them in one position, pick up that ball after you retrieve it from shooting it off the wall back to yourself and just shoot that one in the net. If you guys want, go back and watch that again because that happened a little bit too fast. I wasn't able to explain it 100% correctly, but you have the ball. You throw it somewhere just like Frank where you throw it off the wall. It bounces back to you, but by the time you do, you use your super and you stun them. It's the exact same theory. Throw the ball somewhere where it's going to bounce back to you. Just throw it off a wall, it comes back, and while it's coming back, throw your Tara Super down, get them in an area where like they're in like the black hole or whatever, and that's just going to be a really easy goal for you guys. So that's another one that's a little bit higher skilled, but I would definitely recommend practicing that with Frank and Tara and being able to do that. I taught some of my IRL friends how to do that, and they went immediately from 3 out of 10s in Brawl Ball to 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10s in Brawl Ball. It's a really good move, so I would definitely recommend using it. Let's hop into the next Brawler. So the next brawler is going to be Mortis. Now outside of just your obvious dribbling that people like to do, we're going to be showing you guys Coiled Snake. So basically, um, I'm just going to charge my super really quickly off of these guys. And Coiled Snake is just, you use your super, you use your dribble, and it's just a really, or you use your long dribble, and that's how you're going to be able to get your goal. So you guys can see I'm just charging my Coiled Snake over there. I have it, I just shoot it forward, a very long dribble. A lot of people won't see it coming at lower trophies, and you guys are going to be able to put that in. But a lot of the times you're not going to have an open lane like that, exactly with Daryl things aren't just going to be 
you just, this isn't unrealistic. There isn't going to be just a straight line for you. So what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is kind of like use this box that you see over here to my left. Fudge kick started killing people, so I had to reset this so they had more time to defend. But just like use this box over here and just get around them because you're not just gonna get a straight dribble. I use the box and I'm able to pick up the ball and put that in the net. Again, this is getting a little bit more advanced, but that's stuff that you want to be able to do. So definitely try that out, practice it in a friendly room or something, but learn how to do that, use it in game, and you guys are gonna see the rewards in cups on Mortis. So I think we got two more brawlers. Let's hop into the next two. They're gonna be one fairly easy and one pretty diff difficult. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys exactly what to do. So this one is going to happen really fast, which is why we're picking it up at the start. Just going to charge by super quickly. So this is Gene. And what you guys want to do is you see Steve. A lot of times you have people trapped in your own spawn and you have your super. So you're just going to walk up to where a wall is, throw it off the wall, hit a pull. And if you're inside the same tile or half tile as somebody else, you're going to be able to shoot the ball through them. So what you guys are going to want to do is just pull them towards you. They're going to be right beside you. You can just shoot that ball. It's going to go right through them. It's going to go in the net. That one is probably the hardest way to score out of all the tricks I'm going to be showing you guys. That one's very, very difficult, but I would learn how to do that because it is unstoppable. There is no way of stopping it and you break a wall in the process. So I would 100% recommend doing that. Let's hop into the last brawler and let's show you guys the last way uh, of an individual brawler being able to score a goal. So for this one, what we're gonna be using is Crow. And this one's gonna be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You guys are just gonna be able to pick up the ball. There's going to be defense. Fudge is just running around killing everybody still. I'm um, just gonna pick up the ball. You're gonna have your Crow jump. Just gonna basically pass that forward. Same thing as with a Primo. You're just gonna put that ball forward. You're going to jump on the ball. They're not gonna see it coming. And then you just put that in the net. It's fairly simple, basically like a Primo, but it's a lot harder to pull off because you're a Crow. But anyways, that is going to finish all the goal scoring. So that's gonna finish part two. We're going to head into part three now, which is going to be defense, which is one of, if not the most important ways of becoming a master of Brawl Ball. So let's hop into part three and let's show you guys exactly what to do. Okay guys, so here we go with part three. Um, this is a whole nother day, which is why you guys see me looking different, dressing different. Um, yes, we just finished part one and two, which was comps and how to score. Obviously two very, very essential things. We're gonna be moving on to part three and four now, which part three is how to defend. And part four, just kind of general advanced tips where, you know, it's a little bit hard to pull off some of them, but if you get the timing right, you play it right, it will be able to work out for you guys. So obviously first we're gonna be showing part three, which is how to defend. So let's hop into the replays and let's show you guys exactly what you guys wanna do. Okay, so basically in this game, what we're gonna be demonstrating for you is how to save a primo shot. So obviously we're just gonna let this primo charge super off of us. We're gonna go into a defensive position and try and stop it. So he's gonna grab the ball and this is very easy, but something that's very important. A primo has jump, literally just get in the way of the ball. He's gonna jump, clear it out. We're gonna show this two more times. It's, it, that's all it is. It's super, super simple. Um, but this is an advanced play that not a lot of people know how to make. A lot of people try to get under the ball or they try and let the primo jump and then shoot. That's not the play. Let the primo shoot. Let him try and go for that jump. Pick up the ball. Clear it out. Primo can't do anything. You see how much time it takes. Uh, in an actual game, there's no way that a primo is going to be getting the ball and scoring if you if you uh, clear it away. So one more time, he's going to go for the goal. He's going to try as hard as moving back. Try to do stuff. We're just going to get the ball. Clear it away. And that is going to be it. That is going to be how to save a primo girl. Uh, primo goal works 100 100 like just 100 out of 100 times it's exactly how you guys do it let's hop into the next replay and let's give you guys a next tip okay so for this game what we're going to be doing is showing you guys how to save goals as a goalie so obviously there's different scenarios this scenario is a little bit different because they have full health but just imagine that this uh, player doesn't have full health you're basically going to be a goalie and what they like to do a lot is they go for posts so i'm going to be showing you guys two different ways to stop goals we're just rotating who takes shots um, they're just trying to get a change you with direction stuff like that Just stay in your lane don't commit to one side stay in the middle and instantly react they're always going to try and go for a post they're trying to score 100 percent by the way right now and i'm going to show you guys another strat i think it's right after this one for how to save again stay in the middle try and get your saves he's going to be going for the trick shot there he's going to miss there's nowhere for them for them to score if they're going to uh, try and save a shot that's all they can do next strat is going up if you know they're going to score if you're right in their face there's just no way they're getting it by you they're not unless they do a trick shot you get right into their face like i'm showing you guys right now but anyways right up into sun's face you guys see there is absolutely no way he can score this goal it's just going to go right into it right into us our brawler is just going to absorb it if we're right in front of them there's absolutely no way they can score if you know they're going to shoot and you're one tile away 
that's gonna be the last demonstration there so let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys the next tip for how to be a god defender so for this game we're going to be showing you guys how to effectively def defend with your stun so obviously we're going to charge our super over there and when someone's walking at you we're going to i don't know what that primo is doing we're just going to let him regen i'm spinning we're just going to be like go away regen that's not realistic we want them to have full health when he's going to come and try and score it's really simple when you have your super just stun them grab the ball and push it to the side very very easy that's all you have to do it's literally the most simple thing in the world we're going to let the Tara go next because we want to show you guys, you can do it with more than Shelly. There's obviously all the defensive brawlers that I showed you guys in the uh, in part one, which is about comps where I showed you guys defenders uh, and particularly stuns. So you guys can see Tara gets the stun, picks up the ball, clears the ball away. Absolutely perfect. Then you're going to see a representation with Primo now. So again, the Rose is going to go in. She's going to try and score. The Primo is going to be able to jump, pick up the ball, clear it away. You can do it with many different brawlers. Those three are just three really good ones to show you guys... Uh, demonstrations with you can do them with like literally all the stun brawlers that i put into part one so definitely make sure you get one of those brawlers into almost all of your comps if not all of your comps it is very very important for defense let's move on to the next tip and let's show you guys what we got so for this game it's very simple um we're just showing you guys now how to clear the ball effectively so again i'm going up i'm getting my super and this is actually really important if you're facing high level teams because it, you guys are going to have a lot of pressure on you if you're if you manage to make a save and you're out of shots um that was again that was a bad demonstration i'm going to pass the ball back so you guys see i've been using my shots i'm almost out of shots he's going to try and go for the goal just pick up the ball and super it away it'll take them like 10 15 seconds to go pick up the ball so a they can defend it way better b you know just by then your teammates would have spawned your teammates can get back into position you could charge another super that your teammates can charge super just a way higher percentage of you being able to get that save so clearing the ball is very 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 effective to do with your super don't think it's a waste of a super if you're basically at a point where they're going to score it's absolutely not do not allow those goals to happen Okay, so for this one, we're going to be talking instead of showing a clip. So I have a bunch of notes just written down right here. And the one that we want to talk about now is defensive unit. And again, that's just what I showed you guys. So Shelly is a god defensive unit. Um, Tara as well, an amazing defensive unit. 8-bit is a really good one. BB is a really good one with her stun. Primo's a great one. Um, you can even use Pam and Frank and probably spike so just really high dps for when someone's trying to score on you someone who has a good super slash a stun super just someone like that you always want to have in your comps it's just super important and i can't stress it enough when i talk about comps to always include someone who has a stun or is just mad mad damage per second like an 8-bit or a spike you just need one you always need a defender i know it's amazing to run bull primo and frank and try and score those goals as fast as you can but to gain efficient cups you always need those defensive units if you believe that you are a carry player on your team and you're the best player on your team go that defensive unit because that's what's going to be winning you those games it's those key plays on defense that get you guys those win it's it's just always showed in competitive gameplay the goals aren't what win it it's the actual saves on defense what wins it learn part three the most this is by far the most important part you guys are going to learn learn this part you guys are going to win every game if you learn how to defend properly and you can learn about situations let's move on to the next tip and let's show you guys so for this one it's going to be a little bit of a representation of defending but i'm actually going to be on offense you guys can see um, i'm on offense over here i don't really know what's happening i'm kind of waiting for one of them to go play defense um don't really know what that bb's doing i guess the primo was going to go over there to the right okay never mind the bb's playing defense anyways you were trying to score here it, i'm fully trying to score it's really difficult here to try and score without super the only way basically would be like sneaking up and maybe doing a trick shot but they're not falling for it they usually have like three seconds to stop a really slow ball so what we're going to be showing you guys now is we're going to be breaking every single wall and this is do not break your walls okay if you're on offense yes break as many walls as possible but we're showing this from a defensive point of view and we're saying if you're on defense do not use your super to break walls we're going to show just how easy it is to score here so just a much higher percent chance that you save the ball if you don't have walls there's just like eight tiles for me to choose from to be able to score like to be able to score a goal and that happens if they break your if they break your walls or you break your own walls just never ever ever break your own walls you guys can see the rosa now on defense there's just no way you're going to be able to make the save with all of those walls broken so just any map on brawl ball make sure you do not break your own walls it is very essential and you know what just a tip for on offense if you're facing someone make sure that you do break their walls it's going to be very 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 easy to score if you do so a don't break your own b please break theirs let's hop into the next game okay so for the next one again it's a little bit of a tip it's not going to be uh gameplay just do not spam auto aim so the ball is really tricky when you have auto when you have the 
auto aim button just being spammed because sometimes it doesn't do what you want. Sometimes you're past the ball, you spam auto aim, and then the ball just ends up in your own net. Or you have an open net, you spam auto aim, and you shoot the ball to the right or to the left for some reason. Just don't spam it. I can't explain this enough. I always talk about this in my videos. Slow down. Um, be patient. The, the, my number one skill and most players' number one skill when it comes to competitive is their patience for understanding the situation that they're in and just not panicking or rushing. So do not be spamming auto aim. You're going to make a bad play. You're going to get if you're spamming auto aim with your super, you're going to get baited. You're going to super your ball. You're going to like someone's going to pass you the ball and they're going to like super it forward. Um, there's just so many different things that can happen if you're spamming auto aim and this is just this is another just huge tip do not spam auto aim i mean you can use it i auto aim when i use shelly auto aim when i use bull in most situations but again just know when to spam auto aim use auto aim when you know it's the right move so please 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 do not spam auto aim you don't have to work on your aim but don't just spam it know what you're doing understand when you're shooting and that is the tip for auto aim Okay, so this one is really situationally based. This is how to use your super on defense effectively. Now this one's a little bit tough. I'm gonna charge my super over here off this Rosa, and I don't know what their plan is. They're either going to shoot or pass. I'm not a, or shoot or walk it in. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm on defense. I have my stun. I see this primo getting a little bit close. So I'm just gonna super them, pick up the ball, and clear it. That's all you need to do. Super easy. I spin again. I have no clue what's coming. Uh, this BB is going to come up, she's going to shoot it, so I grab the ball and I clear it to the side, which would take them like 15-20 seconds to go get, and then bring it back down. And that's all it is here, it's how to use your super effectively, so don't rush it. If they're coming too close and you have your super, fine, take your super, stun them, pick up the ball and clear it, pass it to a teammate, put it into a safe zone and continue killing them. And if they shoot it, take your time, you don't have to use your super from a mile away. If they shoot it, just pick up the ball, super it away very simple you don't have to rush it again patience learn the situations and understand the situations based off of what's happening usually if someone is low hp they're not going to try and walk it in because you're probably going to kill it by then so by you're going to kill them by then so if they're low hp expect a shot but if they're full hp i would definitely expect them walking it in so probably super them and that is how to use your super effectively so this is going to end part three although this was short it was really important that i get the clips 100 percent proper so you guys understand exactly what you have to do when when you know on defense because it's just so huge i mean every competitive game is just determined by which team plays better defense it's so 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 important i can't stress it enough so with that being said, we're going to hop, hop into part four here, which is going to be advanced tips. Now, these are a little bit tough, but I would highly recommend working on these because it's like these little subtle plays that actually go a very, very long way. So with that being said, let's hop into part four and let's show you guys what we got. Okay, so to start off part four, we're going to be showing you guys throwing the ball off the wall. Now this is this is huge. This is a very advanced play. Nobody was really doing this until a couple months ago. I don't really know why, but it's it's definitely, well, not a couple months ago, like 10 months ago, but no one did this for like the first year of BS. So it's really simple. The primo moved out of the way. I don't really know why. So I'm like one shot the super. So literally all I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up, throw the ball off of the wall, gain my super like that, and just try and get a goal. So you guys know when you get a super from part one, like for example, with Shelly, you can just shoot it out of post, break the wall, and it's as simple as that. You guys are going to be able to get a goal. So just do stuff like that. Throwing the ball off the wall and getting it back to yourself is really important. You can get your super. There are many other plays that you can do. In fact, I actually literally yesterday was in a competitive match and I recorded and I actually had a perfect off the wall play where I used at a very, very high stake situation. So I'm going to hop into that clip. I recorded it. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys another way where you can use passing the ball off the wall to yourself strategy in a very effective way. Okay, so I recorded this yesterday. This is my clip um, against Arena Quesito. This is the second final round, so the semifinals in the open. Um, I'm going to be having probably a video on that tomorrow where I talk about my side, my point of view, all of that with uh, how the tournament ended up. But this is a clip that we have from the second round. So basically, you guys can see... I Sorry, I just watched the screen over here, so I'm not making great eye contact. Basically, I'm juking. Um, I'm on my lane. I'm able to... I'm, I get a miss over there, but I'm able to pick up a kill on Pepe as well as Javier. You guys can see La Cruz is down on the bottom. OG is lasering him. He gets him to one shot, so I throw the ball off of the wall. I take my shot, which ends up getting the kill, and then I put... And then, you know, I just put the ball right into the net. So that is going to be that play. Um, again, just a really effective way of throwing the ball off of the wall and then doing something and getting it back to yourself. It's very, very important that you do stuff like that. It's just those advanced plays that make a huge, huge difference when it comes to how good you are at Brawl Ball. If you can do these slight, subtle advanced plays, instead of just like walking it forward and getting Shelly supered, you guys saw we were able to get the kill 
farm our super just do a ton with that so anyways that is going to be that clip let's hop into the next tip and let's show you guys so this one is really really simple but super advanced not many people do it it is the one tile walk and rule which basically means if you're one tile away from the net the ball is just going to shoot through your opponents and go in this is a great representation of it i'm going to grab the ball i'm going to be walking up and you guys see two people defending over here and literally i'm able to shoot right through both of them if they're within one tile of your shot then they just they just can't pick up the ball it's it just in the game mechanics it's not how it works it had to be more than a one tile separation from you guys in order for them to pick up that ball you can shoot right through them if they're anywhere within that one tile so when you're one tile away from the net just shoot the ball anywhere it's going to go in it'll save you around one second maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less and you might it might save you sometimes if you have 1000 hp instead of walking in you can just shoot it in from one tile away and it'll save you a goal maybe well with 2k maybe well with 3k hp it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of goals all the advanced players do this on ladder as it's unstoppable but saves you time so i would definitely get into the habit of learning how to do this and pulling it off on ladder to try and gain trophies let's hop into the next point and let's see what we get so this next category is going to be part of part four but it's going to be super passing and that's kind of an advanced tip so right here, this is really, really, really simple. Um, it's just going to be me playing defense. So I charge my super, obviously. Majority of the time with the Shelly, in fact, you're going to have super. But you guys can see my Mortis is at the top on a breakaway. So they're going to be going for a goal. Really easy. Just they're going to miss it. Make that save. You guys see there's going to be a little bit of an area over there. Pass that to the Mortis. And the Mortis is just going to go up and score. Now, it doesn't have to be a Mortis. It could be anybody on your team. But just pass that ball up with the super pass and give them a breakaway. So yeah, same thing. You guys can see the Mortis is going for the kills, but he's left behind. They're going to be going for the three on one. Just right here, going for the save. Make the save. Walk up. You're going to be punched. But again, the one tile rule. You guys can see I've passed it through the Rosa, even though the Rosa was on the other side of me. Just get that pass through. The Mortis is going to have the breakaway or any, again, anyone on your team and get that goal. So super passing is really important. We're going to hop into a lane super pass now, which is instead of defense, we're going to be going on a lane. So let's show you guys that. And this one's also really crucial because it's just, it's smart IQ plays like this. I can get you guys a lot of goals. So let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be really simple. You guys can see my Rico is like basically fighting on the top left. So I'm able to get the ball on fighting my lane. Just a quick super pass up and you guys see he's going to have a wide open net. Um, it's just those lane passes like that are super, super, super important as you're able to just get you know a ton of goals like that people don't see those passes coming unless you're at the very 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 and i mean absolute top of ladder the 0.1 percent then nobody will see those super passes coming use them as well as you can again don't i know i know it's hard for me to say but try your best not to play with randoms try your best just to join a clan or if you play with randoms uh add the good ones as a friend and just try, even if they're not good just still add them as a friend try and get into a game room explain just talk to each other, gain chemistry, just stuff like that. It's super important to, to play with your team in Brawl Ball. You can't play alone. You're not a one-man team. You're a three-man team. So figure that out. We're going to be hopping into another super pass situation. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is. Okay, so going into the next game um, over here, it's really simple. I'm just going to be charging my super again. Um, you guys are going to see Scrappy, who's our bull. He's going to go to the right side. So it's very, very simple. Uh, we're just walking up. They're trying to do damage to us. They're trying to save it. Really easy. I'm about to die. Just pass that ball to the right. I don't really know what Scrappy's doing over there. I was trying to go for the bull shot that I showed you guys in part number one. But really simple. Make that quick pass over there. It can be a super pass if you guys want longer distance. But over there, you don't need to waste your super. So again, make that pass to the right side. Just a very, very, very simple pass. That's all you guys really have to do. Um, and remember just to use your teammates. So we're going to do one more for part four, which is going to be another part of super passes. So let's hop into it. It's going to be an overtime super pass. Super simple. Let's just hop into it and show you guys what it is. Okay, so for this one, it's super, super simple. It's just going to be an overtime situation over here. Uh, we didn't want to wait to overtime, so we broke all the boxes. But again, it's just going to be, we're going up on this right, on this left side. You guys can see it's totally covered. So just a super pass to a wide open right side. That's used all the time in competitive, all the time in high ladder games. They can't stop both sides when they have super. So just make sure you guys get those super passes done accordingly. Very, 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 very important to do those super passes correctly. Um, and that's going to end part four, which is just general advanced tips. So now that you guys have learned about the off the wall, the one tile glitch, the super passes, how to do everything like that, we're going to hop into our final part, which is part five. So let's get into it. Yo, what is going on guys? So here we go. We are in part five, the final part. And this one is just 
it's just like advanced so part four also was advanced this is also going to be advanced team goal so the only way you're going to be able to do this is if you're a on a vc or b you just have really good chemistry and a complete understanding of what your teammate wants to do so there's going to be four really special extremely highly advanced plays that you can do with your teammate and only with a teammate i can't stress that enough so Number one, uh, we're going to show that right now. Basically, what they're going to be doing is combined plays. Um, this is going to be a super pass to Leon. You guys know these. Um, it's basically a Leon goes invisible. Uh, you have the ball. You either pass it or even for a more sneak strat, super pass it. The Leon picks it up and goes to score. We're going to jump into the games. Let's show you guys exactly what we did. These are a real game, so we are in a friendly lobby, but the other teams are trying 100%. They have no clue what we have planned at all. So let's hop into the games, and let's show you guys exactly what we did. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pick it up midway. And basically what we're doing is try and get my super and Connor's super, who is McD's, the Leon, at the exact same time. So we've been holding middle ground for quite some time with this team. Again, this is a 100% real game. Uh, no, nothing crazy about this. So I get my super. I'm now waiting on Connor to get his super. This Colt did an amazing job, actually, our teammate, of breaking the walls and getting kills. So... Good job by him. Connor's going to get a super. I tell him right now, go invisible. Or if you're just in a friendly room and you have this play in your mind, he's going to go invisible. And he's going to go up. No one's going to spot him. I'm going to hold down my super. Pass it to Connor. And you guys see, he did the one tile glitch. Exactly, like literally what I was talking about in section number four. Get that one tile distance away. He did that. He ended up getting the goal. It's super huge, super important. I can't stress it enough. So we're going to hop into the next part of this game where we score the second goal. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so here we go. Again, Connor has a super. He's going to go up. He's going to stay in that bush for a little bit. And what he does by staying in that bush is he makes them think he's invisible. So look at Pugnail. Pugnail's going to be shooting an area over here thinking he's invisible. I was going to play that ball up right into the middle. Connor's going to pick it up. He's going to go for the shot. He's going to miss it, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, again, he could have done the one tile glitch there. Connor is more of a streamer. He's not more or less a pro. So if he had that quick reaction, he would have known that the one tile glitch was a strat. But unfortunately, he did get a little bit too close. So you guys can see again, we're just out here holding lanes, doing the normal business, um, waiting for Connor to get a super. Unfortunately, he did it. So we're going to have a trick shot to end off the game. But anyways, that's what happened over there. Let's hop into the next one, which I believe is a bull charge, which one, which is actually super easy and super, super fun to do. So let's hop into this one. This one I want to see you guys doing. So let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. We're going to cut into this. And this one's probably the best one along with the next one. So you guys see Connor. He is the bull. Um, he's just, he has a super. He's going to dash up that right side. He did a super as a signal. You can do that with teams. Just flash your super. He's going to go down that right. I'm going to pass it to him. And with all this tankiness, and no one can get in his way because he'll just bop them out. That is a super, super easy goal. And I believe we're going to try for it again. I'm not sure. So if we do, let's cut into it and let's show you guys what happened. They're actually going to score a goal. And you guys are going to see right off the rip what we do. So we're going to be able to get our super. Obviously, Connor has his. We're going to get that hit. I believe we're one hit away at this point. I could be wrong, but I'm 99% sure. Yeah, so we got our super. I'm telling Connor, okay, now it's the time. He's going to go up. So you guys can see Connor on that left side. Dash is straight into the middle. We're going to get that pass. And easy, easy goal for Connor. That's exactly what you guys want to do. Do plays like that. Unstoppable. Really, really broken. Unless you're at the very, very, very top level. You guys also notice they didn't have like a really defensive brawler. They did have a Frank. But the Frank was going super aggro. So remember, get those defensive brawlers or you guys won't be able to stop plays like this. Let's hop into the next one. And the next one's also really, really good. So let's get into it. And let's show you guys what happened. So we're going to pick this up right over here. You guys can see I have my super and Connor has his super. He is the primo. So basically the goal is I'm going to play it right into the middle where Pug is right now. And Connor's going to jump on it. So here he goes. He's going to jump. I'm going to super that ball right into the middle. Easy pick up for him. No way they're stopping him. And that ball goes straight into the net. So that's another one. Exactly what you guys want to do. It's lethal. It's really, really good. It's basically unstoppable. Because as soon as the Primo drops, everyone around him just gets exploded out of the way. And I'm literally, unless they have like a Shelly Super or a Tara Super, they won't be able to stun you in time. So, I mean, just an amazing play over there. I highly recommend you guys do it. We're going to go into one more final play here. So let's cut into it. This one is really good. It's, it's really common and really easy to do. So let's cut into it and let's show you guys exactly what it is. Okay, so here, we're going to pick it up over here. Um, it is raining super hard, so I apologize if you can hear the rain in the background it's actually going off so this crow actually almost made a play but we were able to make that save over there wow it's raining like crazy uh i apologize for the rain but anyways here's the play so i'm going to be basically putting down my super and you guys see connor has his knockback so they have no clue where he is right now 
um, he gets knocked by that, but even if so, like, he literally uses his knockback with the sneak in the Sandy Super, and no one's able to do anything. So if you're a Primo, you can jump on the ball. Shelly can super. Tarek can use her super as well. I mean, anyone can do anything if you use that Sandy sneak. You guys are going to see that so often right now. So if you have Sandy on your team, she's just, or he, he, I'm sorry. It's just an absolutely amazing brawler. Um, so anyways, that is going to end the video. Um, I'm super stoked that we finally got this out, and we got all five parts down perfectly with perfect examples for everything i really hope you guys enjoyed this and this can just elevate your guys trophies a ton um after finishing this i actually really enjoyed it and i thought i i myself kind of summarized everything that i knew and put it into one uh, kind of video and i really enjoyed that and if you really like this i'm thinking i'm going to do a guide for every single brawler in the game um, I'm not certain about it yet, but I think I'm gonna end up doing that I think that would be an amazing series would help you guys out a lot because you know at the end of the day My channel is to help to see you guys grow and help become better players So I really hope this helped anyways Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you subscribe to myself and OG's new channel link again is going to be in the description below Let me know what you guys thought about the video I really 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 enjoyed making it even though it was super time-consuming anyway So I hope you guys enjoyed that is going to be it and I will catch you guys tomorrow with another amazing video catch you guys later Peace.